Hi my lovelies, I'm back with another tea and layout and this time I'm scrapping a picture or two pictures of my hubby and a good friend of ours. And I'm using the Planner Society paper, it's from I believe the November kit. I just loved the floral or was it the Jan? I think it was January, but I'm not totally sure. January or November, one of those. So um, I really love that floral paper and if you are following me for longer, you maybe noticed that I turned into a flower person. <laughs> um, again, I said it in a recent video, but I totally blame my little journal Heba, but um, I really enjoy those florals and um, yeah, for the longest time I really had a hard time using those, but for my tea and layouts I really enjoy doing that. So um, the pictures that I'm using are black and white. Um, a thing that I learned over the past couple of layouts that I designed is that um, I don't want it to get too busy. I would call myself more of a plain and simple or clean and simple person with the floral flowery touch. And I really enjoy black and white and um, yeah, when the patterns that I am using are too much excited or too much in your face, I um, tend to do my pictures black and white or when I have like busy photos, I try not to use the busiest patterns. So um, to give those photos more interest and use up some scraps, I just uh, pulled out some papers that I had laying around and just uh, teared the edges and layered it. And I really enjoy using vellum between layers to give it a little bit more interest. And as you can see, I already glued down those pictures. So for um, embellishments, I won't be using much. This time I concentrated a little bit more on my um, stamps. I'm using a Felicity, stamp, uh, Felicity Jane stamp set and um, I found this heart border or heart banner and I just are or I'm just going to stamp this one across the top. Um, I don't like layouts to end with a white border or with the, the white paper that I'm working on. So usually I go ahead and maybe doodle around or just um, try to use some pattern papers. Um, I just don't like it to end with the white paper. So um, yeah, for some sentiments that I am using, um, I think it's Can't Stop Laughing and uh, Meant to Be Friends. And I'm stamping those both out on some Epson white paper. It's um, the Epson Premium Matte and I um, believe that I get a better result using this paper because it's um, not smooth, it's a little bit textured and um, I have like the experience that the ink will go better on this paper. It may be just be me but um, I really like using this paper and um, if you are looking for papers to stamp on, I would recommend that. Maybe try it out and see if that works for you as well. And yes, I am drinking another red wine. Just as I said in my last video or in the in the recent video, um, my scrapping habits changed a little bit. Um, I only find time to scrap when my daughter is sleeping and um, yeah, most of the time that's at the night or late evening. And I just uh, yeah sit down, enjoy a good red wine and do some scrapping. So um, here, as you can see, I had to just doodle around the stamp. Um, just as I said, I don't like it to end with the white paper. So I am using a Muji pen. And um, if you're looking for a good pen to doodle or write in your project, I can totally recommend that one. It's um, I think it's a Muji 0.5 and it's so smooth it's a gel pen and it just works perfect for me and i even um, use those pens in my um, planner planner and as you can see i used another um, stamp it is a small heart or those were three small hearts and i just uh, made another border and then here you can see i'm also using a small heart stamp and um, i kind of lost my um how you say uh I was a little bit afraid of stamping directly on my project, but as you can see, the border on top and those small hearts down there and those um, little hearts, um, I just tried stamping directly. Um, the smaller those stamps are, the easier it is, so um, you actually can't mess up with small stamps, so <laughs> I just went ahead and stamped directly on there. So, um, yeah, my title. 
I'm using some Felicity Jane puffy stickers. I'm, I can't remember which um, kit those came in, but I really like those. And um, for a title, I chose Real Friend. I don't want the title to be the main focus, um, so I used those white ones on the pattern. Um, on the video or on the pictures, you can't really tell, but in uh, real life, when you're looking at the, t the title, it shows much better than it does here on the video. So, um, in order to get everything on there straight and to find the right position, I normally use the um, acetate sheet that comes on to find the middle and um, I use it as a guideline to stick everything on uh, straight. Then I also used these two hard puffy stickers that came with the same alphabet kit. Um, yeah, what else will I be doing? I think I'm using, yes, I'm using some felt that came in the recent Felicity Jane kit. It was, um, what's, what was it called? Um, Zot no. Oh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with names or kit names. Um, but I really like those uh, that felt piece and it had the right color um, to match with the pattern paper and the um, cardstock paper I used behind that one picture. So I will be looking for some embellishment. I think I will be going down another flower or something and then I call my layout done. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the video and if you did I would really appreciate a thumb up or maybe a comment and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!